Praise the Lord and the Lord bless you. Thank you for joining me. My name is God's Power and I'm a teacher of God's Word. Amen. There is a move of God that is going on at the moment, a word that the Lord is saying at the moment that is going to bring His power into the midst of His people. That the time has come that people are entering into a new level, a new dimension of knowledge, a new dimension of wisdom, a new dimension of the understanding of who God is. And God is pouring out His power onto those that are willing to be enlisted in the army of God, in the army of His end time move, in the army of a time like this, in the army of those that are willing to dominate till they come. This is the time that the Lord is bringing to us His wisdom in an unusual measure. He's bringing to us His knowledge in an unusual measure. And it's moving us to a dimension that we've not seen before. It's a dimension of grace, a dimension of wisdom, a dimension of understanding. And the Lord is willing to give unto us many that are willing to come unto Him to receive these dimensions. Because it's a time for the move of God. It's a time for the move of God as never before. It's a time that the Lord wants to do great and mighty things through His people. So the Lord is sending me to you today with the word of prophecy that the time has come for a change. The time has come for a new wave, a new move of the grace of God, His function and anointing in the name of Jesus. The Lord says He's taking us to the era of Christ, the era of power and of might. Even when you are at your lowest state, the devil will not be able to have access to your life. Amen. Matthew chapter 4 and, and, and from verse 1 through to verse 11, the Bible recorded about Jesus being in his most vulnerable state after fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. The Bible says he was tempted of the devil. And through the temptation, the Bible recorded that Jesus Christ had a word for the devil. Amen. And in verse 10, I want to read something for us in Matthew chapter 4 and verse 10. Amen. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 4 and verse 10, Then Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, an angel came. And ministered unto him. Now God is saying that his power is coming. God is saying that his grace is being poured out among men. You should be one of the soldiers that will be enlisted to receive this grace, to receive this unction from God, to destroy the vices of the devil, to destroy the pound of wickedness in the name of Jesus. Now, before I will go, I'd like to quickly point to you what God put in my heart to tell you to do. If you need to operate in this wave of grace, in this wave of new move of unction of God, there are things you need to do. And God will help me tell you today, as I read these things through to you, I pray that you will be able to use them and get yourself enlisted to this great move of God. Amen. So the first thing you have to do, the first thing you have to do to get this wave to be enlisted as a soldier in this new wave and move of God is to acknowledge God in obedience and in His praise. Amen. You have to acknowledge God in obedience and in His grace. Whenever he speaks to you, you obey his word. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'd like to quickly read something for us in Colossians chapter 1 and verse 10. The Bible says that you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him, being fruitful in every good work and increasing the knowledge of God. Increasing in the knowledge of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Being fruitful in the good work and increasing in the knowledge of god so the knowledge of god that is coming will only come to you if your obedience in his word in good things in goodness amen if your obedience in what he instructs you to do so that you can have knowledge of his word in jesus name so the second thing you have to do is to strive to have a higher knowledge 
of God's word. Amen. You need a higher level of God's word. You need to be able to dwell in the word of God and study. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, if you look at that passage we read before in Matthew chapter 4 and verse 10, the Bible recorded that Jesus Christ knew what to say to the devil. Jesus Christ had a foreknowledge of what the word of God is. Jesus Christ was very studious, so he knew what to say to the devil. You need to have a higher level of the knowledge of God's word. So the third thing to do is to tarry in the place of prayer with the Spirit of God so that you can know God the more. Amen. You need to tarry in the place of prayer. It is very, very important we do this for us to take hold, for us to take hold of those power, for us to take hold of the unction that the Lord is spreading across the world, for us to take hold of that higher knowledge that the Lord is giving to His people in the name of Jesus. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 10 says, But God has revealed them to us through His Spirit, for the Spirit teaches all things, yes, the deep things of God. Amen. The Spirit teaches all things, yes, the deep things of God. You need to tie in the place of prayer with the Spirit of God. Praise the Lord. That is the third thing you need to do. The fourth thing you have to do is to desire the fruit of the Spirit of God that will give you the right access to the thoughts of God. Amen. You need to desire the fruit of the Spirit that will give you a direct access to the thoughts of God, to what the Lord will be saying, even as this wave moves through, even as this knowledge comes through in the name of jesus first peter amen i'd like to quickly read something for us in first peter chapter 1 verse 5 to 8 but also for this very visit given all diligence add to your faith virtue to virtue knowledge to knowledge self-control to self-control perseverance to perseverance godliness to godliness brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness law for if these things are yours and abound, you will be neither barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. That knowledge is coming. You need to receive it. Of the Spirit of God, the fruit of the Spirit is necessary to know the thoughts of God in Jesus' name. Now, I'd like you to, to expect to receive God's word. You see, I, you don't, things doesn't fall on you. Amen. You, you learn to, to, to get things. You dig deep to get the gold. You need to study and stay in God's presence. As this move cut across the world, be a soldier, enlist in the army of God, and let God use you this end time to be able to break the bound of wickedness and deliver people unto God, bring people to the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus. Now, before I go, I'd like to quickly pray for you. Amen. I'll pray for those that want to receive Christ as your Lord first. Now, if you're here and you're watching me and you want to receive Christ into your life, you want to make him your Savior and your Lord, I'd like you to stretch your hands towards me and I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus, Father, I commit your people into your hand. As many that are watching me, I want to give their life to you. Lord, is a time in their life that they need to yield to you. Lord, let their heart yield to you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Now, if, you, if you're there and you're listening to me, I'd like you to repeat after me in Jesus' name. Father, I've come to you in my whole heart, knowing that I can't help myself. I pray that you bring me back home. I accept Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior that from today I'm yours Lord I'm not the devil anymore I'm yielding myself to you bring me back home teach me what to do lead my ways in Jesus name now I trust God for you if you've made a prayer with me the Lord will teach you what to do stay in the Lord Stay in the Lord, stay in the Lord, and the Lord will teach you what to do next. 
in the name of Jesus. If you're here, if you're thinking in your heart, and the Lord is speaking to you that you're one of the soldiers he's talking about, I'd like you to stretch out your hand. God is bringing grace into your life. God is giving you grace, grace to accomplish his purpose in this new wave, in this new move. The Lord is going to grant you grace in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for your child, O oh God, looking at me and thinking, I want to be one of the soldiers that the Lord will use this time to break the bound of wickedness, to bring people to the Lord, to increase the kingdom of God. Father, I pray, O oh Lord, that you grant them grace, that you grant them wisdom and understanding, that you grant them the resilience, the need to stay put, even as your wave cut across into their heart, even as your power cut across into the spirit, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. The wave of the Lord is coming. The power of the Lord is coming. It's cutting through. And if you're one of those soldiers that have been enlisted, I have to tell you today that you're doing something that you will never regret in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for your people. Lord, I pray for them. I pray for the grace required to be enlisted in your soldiers, to be enlisted in your army, to be enlisted as one of yours that you want to use in this end time for your move and your power that is cutting across the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, I'd like you to share this message, praise the Lord, to as many people you think we need to hear this message. Amen. I'd like you to share it across to them. Let them listen to it. Let them know that the new wave of God is here. And the Lord is asking that we enlist as a soldier people that we use to destroy the works of evil, to destroy the power of darkness, and give them access to his wisdom, to his knowledge, to a greater level of unction and anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And if you're here, you're watching me, I'd like you to subscribe to this channel if you've not subscribed yet. So I'd like you to press that subscribe button. Amen. And also, I'd like you to press that notification bell so that whenever I come online, you'll be the first to be notified. Amen. Whenever I upload a video as well, you will be the first to be notified. So do so, the Lord. We enlarge your coast in the name of Jesus. Thank you for staying with me till I come your way next time. God bless you.